Hey everybody, uh, this is going to be the first in a series of uh, videos about making a food forest. So um, I'm going to do a little bit of a grand tour for you, show you guys everything, and talk a little bit about it, and tell you all what I plan on doing. So, uh, so enjoy. Alright, now to start out, hoping this isn't going to be too bumpy for you guys, but um, I've got 3.8 acres in North Carolina that I recently purchased. Um, basically to feed my family for the next I don't know how many generations I'm going to be planting uh, all fruit trees, berry bushes, um, perennial vegetables uh, basically a, a living a living food forest, a food garden. Um, now I got a really great deal on this property and the reason why was because it was partially cleared and they left a lot of brush. They left a lot of trees but um, that's going to work out great for me because um, I'm going to use them for raised beds and making terraces and and um, they're going to work out I'm, so many different uses for all the different lumber that's actually around here so I don't actually have to cut anything down to use use the trees so and those are some of the trees right there and I'm going to keep walking now the property is very long it's, um, it's not really square it's more of like a rectangle and there's just so much stuff growing in here I think there's some wild blueberries over here and tons of maple trees and the only problem that I'm I'm, I'm wondering about is the dirt um, here the dirt seems to be basically I mean it's it's some it's clay it is I can't even get through that Yeah, I mean, it's it's red clay. So, I'm going to have to... There's going to be a lot of soil building. Um, using green manure, which is basically um, plants that you use as mulch. Um, instead of adding manure, you use the nutrients that are in plants to build the soil. And that's where I planted a few... Uh, blackberry tree and a blueberry bush uh, back in April I've been dying to come up here. I uh, I haven't been up here in a couple months, and I've it's just I've been itching to to do it. I mean, it's so peaceful up here, and the birds chirping, and you're surrounded by living things instead of empty houses and miserable people. <laughs> so it's kind of kind of nice, kind of relaxing. All right, now here's a little pathway going down to the creek, and you can see there's a, definitely a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, there's so much stuff. They basically just left all the tops of the trees, and and um, they just left everything here. But uh, I'm going to use it all. Um, I'm going to be using uh, everything in here um, naturally. I'm going to be making a lot of fences with a lot of the wood that's in here. Natural fence posts, natural arbors for grapes to grow up, and uh, nasturtiums, and any of the, the pole beans, and runner beans, and stuff like that. And... Here's the little pathway going down. Now, if any of you guys have any tips, um, if you guys um, have any food forests at, at, of your own, and or you've experienced some of them, and there's some little pointers you guys would like to give me or, or anything like that, I would really, really appreciate it. Um, all the help uh, would, be, would be excellent. And, um, oh, don't mean to get off the subject, but there's actually wild magnolia trees growing here. Um, there it is right there. Um, there's one of them. And once we get closer down towards the creek down there, um, you can actually see there's a bunch more. So. I don't see any blooms on them, though. Now, this trail going down right here is pretty steep. And 
when it's all said and done, it's not going to be a straight shot. Um, it's going to be more winding back and forth with terraces to hold the dirt in. And, and um, the best places to plant fruit trees are actually on a slope like this. Because if you have them all at the same level, uh, the tops of the trees can actually... Um, but you can actually fit more trees in a smaller space is if it goes at a, at a pitch. Um, because where the tops of the trees are, they're not going to be touching each other. You know, they can, they can be more condensed, more closer together. Um, so a lot of the fruit trees are going to be down here in this part. And also, um, we also own across the creek on that hill going up there, um, right to the top of the hill too. Sounds like a frog down there in the creek. Did you guys hear that? 